The scene is a cellar in the centre of London, and the mood is one of relaxation. Cards, skittles, shove halfpenny, and the odd glass of beer. Very nice too, but see if you can guess where we are. A bottle party perhaps? The prelude to a jive session? Or is it a gambling den? Notice the absence of men. That's odd, isn't it? Well, here's a clue. Although we're not out to prove that you can still get a man with a gun, we would like you to meet a group of modern Annie Oakleys who formed an all-ladies shooting club, mainly because men members refuse to have mixed teams, the cowards. All the girls are typists or secretaries working for London firms, and one evening a week they meet for instruction and practice on the range. Under their full title of the Lensbury and Britannic House Ladies Rifle Club, they have already competed in many matches and have won several prizes. Shooting is taken seriously. Several of the girls hold county badges and one or two hold international ones. Soon they hope to send a team to the rifleman's mecca, Bisley. Watch out, chaps. These girls mean business. This 25 yard range is one of the most modern in the country and is fully soundproofed. The 2-2 caliber rifles are not special ladies' models, by the way. They weigh several pounds more than the ordinary 303 service rifle, which has caused many strong men to wilt route marches. The chief instructor has been teaching for over 20 years. And with pupils like this, who can blame him for carrying on? In a few weeks' time, the newcomers will be in fine form. On the target, we mean. A special system has been installed at the firing point, and each individual shot can be signalled, in a matter of seconds, to the audience in the club room. Another reason why enthusiasm and keenness are so evident during a shoot. In spite of apparent informality, this is one place where a little bull is always welcome. <laughs> 